Something as small as little particles and animations is what Roblox developers use to keep you addicted to their game. And in this series, I give myself some coding challenges that relate to smooth effects to enhance your games and show the code and objects needed to make them. So for this first effect I'm going to make, it is going to mimic the style of what Please Donate does in their games. So basically when you open a frame in Please Donate, your field of view zooms in and the background blurs. And then when you close the frame, everything returns back to normal. So this is a cool little thing you can put in your game to make your game more satisfying and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I think the best way to do this is by making a module script and handling it in the module script. So I'm going to rename this just to UI effects. And then I'm going to rename module to handler or something like that. And we can begin by using variables. I don't think you could get any more simpler than what we have here. We're going to be using tween service to make everything smooth and the time it takes to tween in and out of our effect. And we can begin then by making our function that makes everything work. All right, so when we call the toggle function, we're going to send in a value, which is a Boolean which is a true or false value. And so setting the value to true means we want to do the effect. So we are tweening the camera's field of view to zoom in and also tweening the blur. So there is a little bit of a blurred background. And then else means if the value is false, then we are going to reset everything. If you guys have a different field of view in your game, then you'd probably want to change this from the default 70 or another value a constant value set in your game but the standard value is 70 for all roblox games okay so using this frame i have here and making it appear on our screen after a few seconds we will toggle the effect so i'm just going to do this real quick i'm going to insert a local script in the gui here and then i am just going to really quick do it so ui effects we're going to get that and we're going to wait three seconds and call ui effects dot toggle true and also i'm going to set the enabled property on our frame to false and then we can just say script dot parent dot enabled is equal to true so now head into your game and after three seconds the frame will appear and also our field of view zooms in and also we have a blurred background so if we were to make this close button work and we can do this just by saying local close equal to script dot parent dot frame dot close and then when we click on the close button we are then just going to call the same thing but put in false and also setting the enabled property back to false. So then heading back into our game, the frame should appear. And then when we close out of it, it should reset. Just like that. Okay, so this next system is actually kind of advanced. It's a coin dropping system or, you know, a currency dropping system like something you would see in most simulators. And I call this a special effect because, you know, developers can just throw the money into your player's leader stat with no effect. So I think this is a pretty cool way of doing it. And I've worked with systems like this before, so I think I know how I'm going to do it. But, you know, let's figure it out.
All right, guys, so I've done a little bit of coding off camera. I mean, I'm just joking. It was literally on camera. But before I move on to this next collect function, I kind of want to explain what I have chosen to do. So here in this drop function, we are going through the amount of parts or drops we want that we put up here. And then we're cloning this orb part that I have. And it's just a invisible part with a billboard GUI. I can't. Anyways. And we are making an attachment, random values, and a linear velocity, which will make it so when it... When we spawn the part, there is a force applied to it that basically makes it jump out of the location that we had set up here, the C-frame location. And also stay tuned, guys, because I am going to make a custom pop-up kind of effect also with this. So, you know, keep watching for that. Okay guys, so I think our currency dropping system is now finished. See, I now have a gold amount in the top right corner and you can also see that the currency drops kind of pops out of the location. So the range is fully customizable because we have it here in the module script. It is a global thing here, range. And I have it set to 15 because I think 15 is a good number. And when we get close to the gold, it disappears. It moves towards us and it disappears. And we get a little money pop-up that goes across our screen. So if we collect all these at once, you know, it's kind of a cool effect. Um, and, and the other module script I have here is format number. This is what I'm using to format the numbers when they get really big. And the random numbers are here, as you can see. And the way they jump out is kind of customizable. So we have a random X and random Z value and also random Y down here. I didn't put it in a variable. So you can change these ranges. So maybe they don't jump out as much or they jump out more. You can change the max force of the linear velocity. Uh, there, there's the range, there's the magnitude you could change. Even in the money pop up, there's whole bunch of things you guys can customize to your liking this is what i like to go with i think it looks nice and maybe just for the fun of it we can go back to this script and put in let's say 200 coins and if you guys want some bigger numbers you can i just generate a random amount here so i'm gonna set this to maybe a thousand to we can say a hundred thousand head back into our game and I just have the coins or gold coming out of the spawn location here and if you don't want it to take it very long to pop out of the location you can go to the functions and where was it here you can change the task dot wait amount here and it's still going on so if I walk up it walk up to the gold and also looking at the counter you can see whoa <laughs> yo that is a lot and now we are getting millions of dollars and it just keeps going that's actually really satisfying okay so the last thing i'm going to be doing is making a button click hold down system you know to make your buttons more satisfying and i meant to put this in my most popular video now but i never did 
so I might as well put it in this video. So how I'm going to do this is I'm of course going to use a module script and in this module script I'm just going to rename it real quickly to something like uh, button effects or something button just <laughs> button animation and then in here I am going to basically add or call a function and then in this function there is going to be a button which is a GUI button and so I can add buttons to the animating or you know it, I, I hope that makes sense basically I'm just calling a function and then making the button work Okay, so I have this old codes UI because it has a redeem button in it and I just made a local script that ran through all of the descendants of the screen GUI. So if it detects a button, then it's going to animate it. So head into our game. Hopefully this works if we get our mouse cursor over the redeem button. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, I think I did something wrong. Hold on. And it looks like I forgot to put in some zeros here. So I should have put a zero here. And then also a zero down here. So now testing it again. Click the button A. There we go. So it kind of has that little effect too. And then when we click. Oh, it's a little slow. <laughs> it's a little slow. I don't. I might have put in a weird value. Oh, okay. I see what I did. I put in a 0 0.65 here, and that should be a smaller number, like maybe 0 0.05. I think that'll look good. And then do it again. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. Yo, that looks nice. There we go. Yeah, that's clean now. That's clean. And yeah, guys, this was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.